Okay, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this another opportunity that you've given to us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this time that we have gathered here to spend with your word. Lord, as we have gathered over here today, let it be everything of you spoken unto us and nothing of our own knowledge. Lord, you speak to us. You guide us. You reveal to us the secrets and the mysteries of your kingdom. Lord, we want to hear you. We want to hear your voice. We want to hear your word. We want to hear the truth. And Lord, the only way I can hear the truth is by you when you speak to me, when you speak to us, O Lord Jesus. Lord, here as we have gathered over here, help us, O Lord, to be the image, to be the person that you want us to be, to be, have to, to have a relationship with you, to have a fellowship with you, <clears throat> to focus on you, Lord, instead of our problems, instead of our situations, instead of our crisis, to keep our focus on you and on your word. And Lord, we believe, Lord, that your will for our life is promising us this, that you have a will and you have a purpose and you have a plan for our life. You want us, Lord, to live the new life that you have called us to live. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father, for the word that you have given to us. And Lord, we make the decision to believe your word. We make the decision to believe the truth. And it is this truth that is setting us free, changing our lives completely from every lie and every thought and every stronghold of the devil. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray, Abba Father. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, praise God. So, um... <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. So, um, I thought of studying something new today, praise God. And this is very important in our life. You know, many a times we hear this, we know about this, we hear this, but we don't go into it very deeply and we just ignore it. And God is saying to us, because you ignored it, that's why you don't experience the answer to your questions and answer to your problems. Praise God. Now, um, thank you, Jesus. So, praise God. Now, um, before we start, you can write this down. Knowing how to cooperate with God. Knowing how to cooperate with God is an important component. Is an important in as a, is an important component in seeing is an important component in seeing the manifestation of the finished, the manifestation of the finished works of Jesus Christ, the manifestation of the finished works of Jesus Christ in our lives, in our lives. So write that, uh, I'll repeat that again. Knowing how to cooperate with God is an important component in seeing the manifestation of the finished works of Jesus Christ in our lives. Last point, Jesus has made available, Jesus has made, Jesus has made available, Jesus has made available Everything, everything that we will ever need in our life, that we will ever need in our life. So asking God, so asking God to do something, asking God to do something. He has already done, he has already done, is an indication of unbelief, is an indication of unbelief. Praise God. Okay, so, um, 
Let's start with 2 Peter chapter 1, verse number 3. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse number 3. Peter chapter 1, verse number 3. Okay. According as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. That has called us to glory and virtue. Now, here he is very clearly saying, According as his divine power has given unto us all things. You see, God, you know, we, we, we normally confess the scriptures of, uh, of God, um, how he gave living water, how he spoke of living water to the woman of Samaria. Well, that well of living water, which Jesus was speaking to us, has been given to us. And you know what that well of living water is full of? God's divine power. And that's why when I am you and when I am believing in that God's divine power and when I'm tapping into it, now that divine power has given unto me all things. So that powerhouse, that well, which is inside of me, when I am using the divine power that God has given to me, when I'm believing that what in the well, I'm drawing it out by my faith, that's when now I can see impossible things becoming possible because the Bible says that he has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Means what? God has given to us whatever we will ever need in our life he has supplied it to us and because he supplied it to us today we no longer need to live under lack praise God thank you Jesus so here he's saying according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. So God has given us the divine power that he has given unto us all things that we will ever need. Means what? God has supplied our needs. God has given to us whatever we will ever need. So that means none of us are called to experience lack. None of us are called to experience the lack. Why? Because today, according as his divine power, he has given unto me all things that I will ever need. Now, let's uh, read this verse from, uh, where is that? Okay, up here. We'll read it from Amplified. Is it amplified or AMPC? Okay, we'll hear from uh, Amplified, Amplified Bible. For his divine power has bestowed on us absolutely everything necessary for a dynamic spiritual life and godliness through through true and personal knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and excellence. So that means what? God's divine power, God has bestowed on us. God has poured it on us. God has given to us absolutely everything necessary for a dynamic spiritual life 
and godliness. God has given to us whatever we will ever need to live the life that is pleasing to God. God has given to us everything that we will ever need to walk, to live, to talk under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. So if the devil is telling us that we are not good enough or that God doesn't love us, we don't need to believe that because God's dynamic power, God's uh, divine power, sorry, has given us being bestowed has been given unto me and through that power I have absolutely everything necessary for a dynamic spiritual life according to the godliness or whatever I need God has provided for me so whether I am living in lack or I'm not living in lack, I still have that powerhouse full of the divine power in me, the well of living water. And if I just believe in that, I can experience the fullness of God. I can experience the fullness of Christ through Jesus. So God has called us not to live an average life or a life as a failure. He never called any one of us to live a life as a failure. Instead, he called us to live a life. He called us to live a life under the new anointing of God's word. So as God's word has been given to me, as the truth has been given to me, praise God. So as God's word has been given to me and the truth has been given to me, today we have the power to walk under the anointing of God's word. We have the power to walk under the anointing of God's word. Now, uh, yes, there will be uh, temptations, there will be thoughts, there will be uh, lies of the devil. But just because the devil is telling us something, we're not supposed to just go ahead and believe it. Why? Because we are not supposed to believe it because instead I have God's word and because God's word has been given to me, God's word is what I need to believe. That's what I need to believe. And the more I start believing in God's word, the more I start believing in the truth, that's when now I can live that life pleasing with God. I can live that life uh, walking under the anointing of the truth. And that's when now I can live the prosperous, the successful, the victorious life through the name of Jesus. Praise God. So as God's word has been given to me today, none of us are supposed to live the average life that the devil is telling to us. Instead, we are supposed to live the new life that God has promised to me, that God has given us, God has given to us because we have the new power. We have the new power of God's word in me. So the devil will be telling us things like you don't qualify for God's strength or you don't, uh, you don't qualify. God doesn't love you. God doesn't want you to live this life. But we are not just supposed to say or uh, believe the devil because we have God's word given to us. And when God's word has been given to us, that promise will never fail. God's word says that the promise will never fail. So when God's word has been given to us and when the promise of God has been promised, okay, we are not just supposed to look at the devil and agree with him because today we have, an, we have the ability to walk under the fullness of God. We have the ability to walk under the newness of life. And that's why today we can, we can live in the new life of Jesus today because we have the evidence of Christ in us. So God's word, which has been given to me, okay, should not just come to you one year and go out to the other year, okay? Uh, go out from the other year. Because when God's word has been promised me, when I start believing in that promise, I will start living according to that promise. And that's what God has called us to do. God has called us to live under that promise. But the only way I can live under that promise 
is when I start believing in that promise. So, uh, so, so the more, so the more I start believing in that promise, that will lead me to the place of victory. So, uh, you know, I told you to write. Knowing how to cooperate with God is an important component in seeing manifestation of the finished works of Jesus Christ in our lives. How do we cooperate with Jesus? When I understand the word and I do not allow that word to slip, but I believe that word. See, God has promised to us the word and we are called, we are supposed to believe that word. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. So did you understand? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now, uh, here in the world, okay, people say, you don't have enough. You don't qualify. You don't have enough. Uh, you, 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 you don't, God doesn't love you. But in the word of God, God doesn't say he will give. But God says he has given unto us all things. Whatever I can ever imagine that I want in my life, God has given to me. Because he said all things. And these all things don't only have to be physical things. It can be spiritual things. If I'm asking God that I want to go and preach throughout the world, now that divine power is what brings it to manifestation. If I'm asking God, Lord, I want to work. I, I, want, to you, I want to experience your will. I want to experience your word. I want to experience the truth. Lord, I want to wa walk under the new life of Jesus. If we are asking this to the Lord, if we start believing, we will surely start experiencing the new ability in me. Of course, yes. If a person does not believe in the word of God, if a person does not believe in the truth, he will never be mature enough to deal with spiritual things. Because the Bible says, those who are faithful in the least will be faithful in the much. What's the faithful in the least? Just ready to believe. Just ready to submit. If you're operating in unbelief, no way, there'll be no way that you can experience or you can be faithful in bigger things. No way. Because God, because God is just asking us to do one thing, believe in his word. Don't operate in unbelief, just believe. So if I'm not believing in the word, what does that recommend? What does that say? That says that I am operating more under my flesh rather than my spirit. I'm walking more under the flesh rather than the spirit. I'm agreeing more to my flesh rather than I'm agreeing to the spirit. But it's not supposed to be that way. It's not supposed to live, we are not supposed to live that way. We are not called to walk that way. Because when God's word has been given to me, when the truth of the Bible has been given to me, God is telling us to go ahead and believe it. And when we believe the word of God, when we believe the truth of God's word, it will lead us to the place of victory where now I no longer have to worry about anything because God has provided for me everything that I will ever need in my life. He has given it to me. He has promised it to me. And that's why today we have the evidence. And that's when we make the decision to believe. To believe it. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So are you understanding? Yes. So when the truth of God's word has been given to me, God has called us to just go ahead and believe it. God is not, you see, <coughs> in God's kingdom, if I just go ahead and start questioning God, and I start questioning, 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 and I start saying to him, uh, Lord, you're saying by the wounds of Jesus, I'm healed. But Lord, why will the healing come? How will it come? 
who will provide for me and all of those questions when you're asking god that means you're operating in unbelief because a person who believes will not ask question he will just go ahead and do it because he already knows it will come to pass because he believes it's true but the person who doesn't believe that's when he starts asking questions and asking things like uh, asking asking questions saying oh, oh what about this what about that and how how will this work how will that work see in god's kingdom we're not supposed to ask questions that's a demonic spirit that's a spirit that came from the kingdom of darkness a spirit of asking questions questioning god the devil was the one who questioned god the devil is the one who questions god you see all throughout jesus' life jesus never questioned god who will do it how will this happen why do i have to go to the cross he didn't question if the lord told him to do something he just went ahead and did it and that should be our attitude if the lord is telling us to do something we should just go ahead and do it praise god So are you understanding? Yes. Praise the Lord. So when God's word has been promised to me, when the truth of God's word has been promised to me, God is just asking us to do one thing. What is that? Believe it. Believe it. And if I'm saying no to the Lord, he will not, he, he will not look at me as faithful. for the bigger things that god wants me to do i will not be faithful it's like if a person has never been in the swimming pool and if you throw him into an ocean will you trust that person to swim of course not a person who's never gone into the swimming pool never learned to swim if you directly put him in the ocean you cannot believe that he's going to swim because if he's not faithful in the least to learn how to swim he cannot be uh, good in the not and that's what god's word is saying to us also if you're not faithful in the least you will not be faithful in the much praise god Thank you, Jesus. So are you understanding? Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Okay, so continue to write down. When God's word, when God's word is telling us, is telling us, to do something to do something and we do it when god's word is telling us to do something and when we do it without questioning god without questioning god that's when i will god will be god will trust me that's when god will trust me to be faithful to be faithful in the much in the much so every moment of our life what we need to do is believe is believe and if we are not believing in the word of god i cannot expect god's manifestation in our life today manisha can you repeat the note slowly but Can you repeat the notes slowly? Uh which notes? The one which you just said. Okay, the one which I just said. Hmm. I said when God is telling us to do something when God is telling us to do something and I do it and I do it without questioning him and i do it without questioning him that's when that's when 
that's when god can trust me that's when god can trust me to be faithful to be faithful in the much or in the bigger things to be faithful in the much or to be faithful in the bigger things this god okay so anyone else any questions any doubts praise god yeah thank you angelica jehaya for putting it in the chat praise god so if any of you want to notes just look into the chat and then take it down praise god okay so um, anyone any questions praise god today we'll pray for those uh, with any type of pain in their leg let's say if they have twisted their ankle or if they are, if they have got seriously hurt or even if it's a minor pain but it's still there and it's irritating them we'll pray for those people thank you lord thank you above father thank you jesus thank you holy spirit thank you lord jesus for the word for the promise that you have given to us lord lord as you have given me the authority to speak i'm speaking to every spirit of pain in the leg twisted twisted ankle or any serious issue or any minor issue i uproot it i curse it i cast it out in the name of jesus lord whoever is suffering with this lord i bind it up from their life and i loose that they are anointed anointed for your word lord i loose that they are believing your word and lord that their lives are completely changed and transformed and lord that their their lives are completely a witness of you and lord that they are healed they can walk they can run they can jump they can do uh, what you have created them to do lord thank you lord thank you our father thank you jesus thank you holy spirit for the word we believe it and we receive it in the glorious and mighty name of jesus christ our lord amen amen praise god okay we'll close with ending prayer thank you jesus thank you lord thank you our father thank you jesus thank you holy spirit thank you lord for once again taking us through this journey of teaching we lord we thank you for all the good things that you have done the great things that you are doing and all those greater things that are yet to come lord we thank you we praise you lord jesus for the word for the promise that you have given to us lord we make the decision to believe your word today and lord as we have understood your word we believe that this word is changing is transforming our lives completely from the old form to the new form thank you lord thank you jesus for the word that you have given to us and we believe lord that we are reflecting your image in this world and that we are a complete witness of you reflecting your nature and your character in this world and lord we believe that people can see people are changed because they can see the change in us and that they are completely transformed and we believe lord that we are anointed to go and speak your word thank you lord thank you jesus thank you holy spirit in jesus name we pray above father amen amen amen